Welcome to Motorboat and Yachting's exclusive sea trial of the new Sea Line F42. This all new family flybridge cruiser is the not so little sister to Sea Line's revolutionary F46. Like that boat, it features Sea Line's bold new family styling with a big beamy hull, a near vertical bow, a wraparound windscreen, and a massive extended flybridge supported on two separate pillars at the aft end of the cockpit. We think the styling works even better on this new model. A number of small tweaks in the detailing, such as a slimmer flybridge moulding, the cream-coloured hull, and the overall proportions of the boat give it a cleaner, crisper edge. It also boasts the same pod drive engineering, but this time the boat uses Volvo IPS drives rather than the rival Zeus system from CMD. We took it out for a spin on a choppy Solent day, shortly before the 2010 Southampton Boat Show. To be honest, we were expecting a pretty rough ride given the awkward sea conditions and the relatively shallow V of the F-42's beamy hull. But as you can see, it actually copes remarkably well with the conditions. Like most planing boats, it adopts a slightly bow up position, but enough of the sharp forefoot stays immersed to cut through the waves. This softened the blows and makes for a surprisingly comfortable ride, while the pod drives give a top speed of 30 knots, as well as agile handling, refined, fuel-efficient cruising, and excellent manoeuvrability around the marina, thanks to the optional joystick control system. The wraparound windscreen, which extends into an unbroken run of glass down both sides of the saloon, ensures a great view out for the driver and their guests in the light and airy saloon. Two generously proportioned cabins, each with their own bathroom facilities, make this a really comfortable boat for cruising with friends and family, with plenty of stowage places for all their clobber. And the large flybridge and cockpit ensure there's plenty of space outside for eating al fresco or soaking up the sunshine. Fit and finish is as good as anything we've seen on a sea line, and the galley down layout, with the light flooding in from the windscreen above, works really well. In fact, we reckon this is Sea Line's best flybridge boat to date, and actually offers a better value, more rounded package than its big sister, the F46. But the real reason to buy this boat is the way it drives, so we'll let the footage speak for itself. In the meantime, I'd urge you to track down a copy of the October 2010 issue of Motorboat and Yachting magazine, so you can read the test in full.